Hmm. What is happening? Oh! <laughs> what? He's in the mirror, but he's like doing different things. That's oh, creepy. Haunted. <laughs> creepy. Oh, perfect for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> The next boss is yourself, your haunted self. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Geeky Girly Gaming. I'm Holly. And happy Halloween. Yeah, happy Halloween. We got my Halloween, oh, I gotta lean all the way back. <laughs> this shirt, uh -oh. sorry, we're playing Devil May Cry. So you can tell Alistair yes. is not happy. Uh oh. Okay, well that's perfect. It's <laughs> pretty Halloween. -y. Oh my god. <laughs> is this a boss fight? This is Phantom. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. He's got some things to say. It's <laughs> melted. You said you got something inside that big body. No, you won't. Oh my gosh. Let's we'll see how well I do against. Oh, he's a, not even a spider, he's, he's a, a scorpion. scorpion spider. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow, that, that is perfect for Halloween. Oh my gosh. <laughs> see, if we were see this is the this is the moment where like if we were streamers, we would have done like a like a Devil May Cry stream or something for Halloween, but we're not streamers. We just Does do. Does anyone regular. want us to be streamers? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> streaming is something I would like to try, but it's just our schedules just don't allow streaming. Not really. Yeah. It's unfortunate. But, um, oh yeah, I was just going to say, no, every year when I pull out this shirt for Halloween, I always think it says Happy Halloween. And, and every year I'm disappointed because it just says Hello Kitty on it. <laughs> <laughs> but like she's dressed as a little witch riding a broom. That's all I was gonna say about that. Uh, to beat a phantom. Well, it is a pretty cool boss. Are all the bosses like this cool? Uh, you probably won't like Nightmare. Ooh, Nightmare. <laughs> but Nilo Angelo, you should like. Nilo Angelo. Nilo. Oh, Nilo. Yeah, or is it Nero Angelo? I can't remember if they change it to Nero or Nilo. Anyway, I gotta. Oh, I ate that one. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So when we were doing our episodes of um, the abandoned school, I was telling all my spooky ghost stories that weren't even my own. <laughs> and now, like, I don't really have any. And I'm like, man, I should have saved those for the Halloween episode. That would have worked. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Although, I, I've had a few. Oh, oh. Oh, I got him. You got him. Ha! Well, I wasn't so puny after all, was yeah. I? Screw you, Phantom. There he goes. Back down to hell where he belongs. <laughs> I assume. What an asshole. Anyway. <laughs> Doesn't he look like he came from hell? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. He gave me a lot of orbs, so that's good. All right, time to go back now that I've got the pride of lion. Mm. Oh, yeah. With my shirt... Uh, no, I didn't want to interrupt your story, but uh, with my shirt, uh, it's Resident Evil 7, and I just wanted something from the same, you know, I was talking about how Devil May Cry came from Resident Evil 4, oh, I did beat the mission, Yay. and uh, I was like, well, I got a Resident Evil 7 shirt, it's from the same, like, company, so. <laughs> um, do you have any Devil May Cry shirts? No. I have a poster. Oh. <laughs> Which is, it looks really good. You have it's so many video game shirts. I'm I have a, a lot. I'm just like, I don't, I've never, never seen, seen a Devil May Cry shirt. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I can power up. Uh, what do I want? I should, I should power up Alice. No, I should get another purple orb. Yeah. So I was thinking, um, yeah, like with my, with my spooky stories, yeah, none of them were even my own. They were all stuff that had happened to my dad because he grew up in a couple haunted haunted places mm -hmm. if you believe in that stuff and um 
had some really weird stuff happen to him. So if you want to hear those stories, oh, well. Oh shit! Oh my god, he came back. Um. <laughs> anyway, if you want to hear those stories, go check out our playthrough. Um, playthrough. <laughs> it's not even a playthrough of well, the abandoned school. <laughs> 32 cent horror. It's 32 cents. I can't believe that's what. <laughs> well. Um, but I I have had like maybe three weird things happen to me in my whole life, and they're not even scary. They're just like silly <laughs> things, like just dumb. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, man, like how can I can I spin these stories to make them any scary? Not really. No. And if you want to hear an example of something that happened to me once, you're going to... It's more of a really funny story, more than anything, than scary. Um, this one day, at my parents' house, um, well, back when I still lived at home, I was in the bathroom and I was brushing my hair. No, I was not in the bathroom. <laughs> I was just... I had a hairbrush in my hand and I was just brushing my hair. And then my hair, it, it like, it got caught on like a tangle or something and the hairbrush, like I dropped the hairbrush. And the hairbrush hit me in the toe. Oh. New enemy. Wow. <laughs> you gotta hear the story. Yeah. The <laughs> hairbrush hit me in the toe and I was like, ah, and, and like, and I remember it hurting. And I was just like, ow. And then, so my toe hurt. And then I, I bent down to pick the hairbrush up off the floor. And I'm like, and when I bent down to pick it up, I'm like looking everywhere. And I'm like, wait, where even is it? Like, I, I couldn't even find it. I knew I dropped it and I knew it hit me in the foot, but I couldn't find the hairbrush on the floor. And I'm just like, so I stood back up and the hairbrush was sitting on the, um, it was just sitting on the side of the sink. <laughs> Helpful ghost. How do you explain it? <laughs> yeah, the helpful ghost, right? Like, and I did not pick it up. Nobody else was in the house with me. It just was already sitting back up on the sink after I dropped it, and I knew I dropped it on my toe, because I still had the pain in my toe. How do you explain that? See, and my brother, he had a, a similar thing happen to him. Uh, he was, my brother used to play hockey, and one night he was down in the basement, and he was getting all of his hockey stuff because that's where it would all hang on this like rack um, to dry and stuff after it was used. Um, so he was downstairs and he was packing up his hockey bag and he I think we were in a hurry or something and he I hate these guys. <laughs> he threw everything in in a rush and he was coming up the stairs and I and the hockey bag was still open and a knee pad fell out uh, and, he, and he turned and he this is like his story um it, he turned and he saw the knee pad go bouncing down the stairs and he was like, oh. so he comes up, puts his hockey bag in the living room and then he's like, I dropped one of my knee pads and I have to go get it and um, he went back down the stairs and when he got to the bottom of the stairs, couldn't find the knee pad and he was like, where the heck did it go? Because he knew he had seen it fall out and, and bounce down the stairs and then he came back up because he couldn't find it and the knee pad was sitting on top of his hockey bag. <laughs> So we had a very, like, helpful ghost in our house that, uh, <laughs> if that's what it was, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, like, how either of those things could happen. And, <laughs> okay, to this day, I'm still convinced that this was a prank. Um, I don't really think that this was something real. I'm still convinced that my dad or my brother pranked me. But they didn't fess up to it. But uh, when I was younger, I was in Girl Guides. I'm impressed. It was fun. <laughs> You're impressed that I was, in, was that I was a Girl Guide. Yeah. <laughs> and um, we went to. Uh, we used to go to this camp in the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> and one year, my um, my leaders they put on a Harry Potter camp, and they made the whole thing Harry Potter themed. It was a lot of fun. And um, so we did all these Harry Potter themed like activities and played Quidditch, which was just, well, you can imagine. <laughs> um, out in like the woods, <laughs> in like a field. Um, don't worry, I'm still watching you play this, I promise. It sounds like it. <laughs> I know. I have to tell these stories, it's Halloween. Yeah. Um, and one of the things I made at Harry Potter camp was a wand. We, we went out into the, bush 
and we found sticks to make wands out of. I know it all sounds so ridiculous, right? And oh, and we were also um, at our Harry Potter camp. We were sorted into houses, and I was a Ravenclaw. Who decided that? My leaders. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when we decorate our wands, we used like the house colors. So I use like blue and yellow, or blue and gold, for mine. And um, so I made this wand, and it had like some. It had uh, sparkles on it, like glitter. I used like blue and gold glitter, and uh, and I used um, a, like it had like a blue uh, a blue feather and a yellow feather that I had hot glued with a hot glue gun onto the top. And so when I came home from the camp, I set this stuff. I had set all my stuff from the camp on my dresser in my bedroom. And, um, and it just kind of sat there. So I had like the wand propped up against the mirror and stuff. And that's just where it was displayed. <laughs> One night I go upstairs and I walk into my bedroom and I turn and look to like, like when I walked in, like the stuff would have been to my left. And I look to my left and I swear to God, the wand is just floating in midair. Okay. It's just floating in midair. And I'm like, what the f <laughs> But upon closer inspection, though, it wasn't actually floating. The mirror had, like, these weird little plastic things. And the hot glue that the feathers were glued on with, um, it was just balanced on, on one of these things just by the hot glue. And it was just sitting there. So it, it appeared that it was floating, but it actually wasn't. It was just balanced by the hot glue sitting on this, like, little bracket thing that was on the, like, that was on the mirror. I don't know how to explain it. Nope. Oh, Alistair's giving me a premonition. Oh. <laughs> hmm. What is happening? Oh! <laughs> what? He's in the mirror, but he's like doing different things. He's oh, creepy. Haunted. <laughs> creepy. Oh, perfect for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> oh, the next boss is yourself, your haunted self. <laughs> uh, what? It's a little more than that. <laughs> oh. Ooh. So I was talking about Nilo Angelo. Oh. Wow. This stinking hole was the last place <laughs> I thought I'd find anyone with some guts. Some guts. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna take this outside. Come on, <laughs> It's like, um, why would I want to... Uh, what? What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Well, gotta fight him. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Wow. <laughs> I just want to finish this, this story real quick. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it was just it was just balanced by the hot glue. And um, so I'm looking at it, and I'm like, what the heck? But... So, so I'm just like, well, whatever. My my dad or my brother did this, right? Like, because like I I know I didn't put it like like put this wand like that. So so I called them up. So I'm like, I called them up because I'm like, come look at this. And I called them up, and my dad and my brother did both come upstairs to look. And I'm like, doesn't that look like it's floating in the air? And my dad was like, yeah, what the heck? Like, why is it like that? And I was like. Oh, come on, like, I was just like, well, one of you guys put it like that. And, like, they're both just like, no, we didn't. Like, we didn't put it like that. Like, why would we do that? And they, and they swore that it was not them. So, even though it wasn't actually floating in the air, how did it get like that? Because I didn't put it like that. And, we, and they, they claimed that they didn't put it like that. And my mom wouldn't have done it. Like, that, that's not something that my mom would have ever done. So... Why was it like that? Why was it just balanced <laughs> by the hot glue looking like it's floating? And that's really the only weird things that ever happened to me in my whole life. And they're all kind of goofy, so. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I can do that too. Come here. We had this picture. Um, Start another story, okay. No, no. <laughs> um, see, I, I never really thought that like our house was haunted. But there was this picture um, that was taken... Uh, my house like well my my parents house now um and in the picture like it's got i guess it's more the side of the house and it's where like you can see like my bedroom window the bathroom window and my brother's bedroom window because they're all along that side and then there's like the deck is the back 
porch is there and then like there's a patio um like door and that never got used but um in that picture in the bedroom uh, in my brother's bedroom window i swear this is real there's like this kind of black dark figure with red eyes it looks like standing in his window and it don't look like no friendly helpful ghost i'll tell you that right now okay <laughs> like it's creepy and i I, sh I have the picture. Well, I don't know where the picture is. Um, I think I put it in a book somewhere. I've, if I ever find it. I yeah. swear. <laughs> wow. Yeah. The boss fights are pretty easy in this, they seem. Um, no, I'm just really good. <laughs> <That's not true. laughs> you saw me die against that panther. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. You've got bling. What is that? I want. Ow. Ah. You pissed him off. <laughs> you didn't like that. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so ugly. Oh Why would you God. wear that? This looks so cool. <laughs> Skybox doesn't look great, but. <laughs> <laughs> um. But I remember, I just want to finish this real quick. Yeah. I showed that picture to my dad, um, and I said, look at the, the figure that's in Brandon's bedroom window. It's like this dark figure with red eyes. And my dad was like, you just took a red pen and poked those <laughs> eyes in that thing. And I'm like, I did not! <laughs> I said, that is the picture! There is a dark figure with red eyes looking out of my brother's bedroom window. And my dad's like, you faked that picture. And I said, I didn't. Like, I did not do <laughs> nothing to this picture. That is the actual picture. And uh, it's really creepy, and I wish I could find that picture because I, I don't think you've ever seen it because I don't know where the picture is. I've heard about is. it. But... Yeah, yeah. So that is my creepy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ghost that lived in my house. I got nothing. I don't know what it was, <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was helpful, and it just was. If it was a ghost, if the, if there was anything in my parents' house, it's a prankster ghost because <laughs> even to this day they still have like lights turn on and off. Like sometimes, like the lights in the kitchen will just shut off. Um, but it's more of just a prankster. That's what it is. Likes to do goofy things. It's, it's a Halloween ghost. <laughs> That's what Halloween's. Prank. So those are my scary <laughs> ghost stories. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think that's pretty good place to stop for. for I think this was a fun Halloween episode. Yeah. I'm happy with this. <laughs> like. I died Halloween a couple times. I fought a boss. That was pretty good. That's progress made. I'm sorry you didn't get to talk about your game. Nah. I got in the next episode. If if you like the series, then you know please click like, comment. You want to continue on this? Uh, subscribe yes. if you're if you're not. And yes, we can keep yeah. playing this. Because I really want to play more Devil May Cry. Yes. <laughs> All I was gonna say about Halloween. Halloween is a fun. Like, even though there is like creepy things about Halloween and it's creepy. It's also a fun day as well because like you dress up and all that so so it's like fun and scary let me bring <laughs> our special guest oh yes yes he is a little unruly a little right now hyper right oh now. geez he's like what am i doing <laughs> yes so our little black our kitty halloween, halloween kitty he's mm -hmm. yeah. all right <laughs> well thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this episode and like Brent said, if you'd like to see more of Devil May Cry, please let us know in the comments. And if you want to check out our channel and check out our playlist, you can do that. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>